so that your spine is nice and long. Long, smooth breaths. And thinking about or noticing how you feel and thinking about how you want to feel, right? So noticing any place where there's tension or aches and pains or numbness or you know, just kind of noticing what is. And once you're clear about your intention, setting your intention, and possibly bowing the head to the heart, heart to the earth. And when you're ready to begin, we'll take the hands onto the thighs, and then I want you to start to make teeny, tiny circles, right? So we're gonna start off really small, so it's almost like you're barely moving, right? But you're going in a circular motion, and then you're gonna to start to gradually let that circle get bigger, if it feels okay in your body. And you might even start to exaggerate the movement if it feels okay in your body. Now, eventually, we're going to pause and then we're going to start the same thing in the other direction. And again, you'll start off small, small circles and then start to gradually grow those circles. You're gonna keep breathing while you're doing this and it's giving us information, right? About what's happening in our spine, how our breath is moving today. Eventually, we're going to come to a place where you pause and connect with your breath. And we're going to take the arms in front with the palms facing one another. And just like we do when we're standing up, we're going to inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down. And what I want you to notice while you're doing that is what is going on in your head and neck upper back body and your armpits and your pecs, you know, what is happening as you move. And one more time, inhale is up, exhale down. Now, and you're noticing we're going to roll through the shoulders two or three times going back, inhale up, exhale, sliding down the back body. Then we're going to inhale the arms up. And you're going to take one arm forward, one arm back, and come down as far as you comfortably can. Inhale back up overhead with both hands, and then exhale, other arm forward. And you're just going to move with your breath. And at first, we start off, we're moving through the arms, you're moving with your breath. Now, after you do your second side, we're going to add in a head movement if that feels okay. So when your arms come down, you're going to look over the front arm. Inhale up, exhale down. You're only adding in the head <laughs> if it feels good in your body, like I always say. One more time on each side, and when you finish with the second side, we're going to bring the hands down to the heart center. You're going to connect with your breath. And again, you're exploring. So today our focus is on the upper body, not that we won't do the rest of the body too. So I want you to pay attention to how you're feeling as we move through that. Now you're going to take the heels of your hands together and the fingertips. So there's a space between your palms and then rest your thumbs on your sternum. And you're going to gently press in with your hands, right? So the hands are connected, but you're also pressing in. And you're noticing what happens in the rest of your arms, head, neck, and shoulders as you're doing that, if anything. And then we're going to start to slowly reach those arms up overhead. And if you need to release your hands, please do so. Now, keeping your butt on the ground, you're gonna reach over to the side. Inhale, center, exhale, the second side. 
So we're not going necessarily for like biggest movement here. We're gonna do each side one more time. When you get back to the center, you're gonna bring those hands back down to the heart center, release. And this time, when you're ready, we're gonna roll the shoulders forward. And I want you to exaggerate, like you're literally trying to separate your shoulder blades on your back body. So like when I do it, I make big arm movements, but whatever you need to do to get that feeling in your body. Now from here, we're gonna let the upper body go for, for a little bit as we work with our tennis balls. So I want you to grab tennis balls and you're gonna bend your knees, press those tennis balls in towards your sit bones and work your body up into the tennis ball, but you're not sitting on the tennis balls, right? And we're gonna move side to side through your legs a little bit front to back with the pelvis. And you're gonna keep breathing. And you're noticing how, how things feel here. Do you notice anything? Then, and you can keep doing that or you can start to move the tennis balls out a little. And for most of you, this is not new, right? We have been exploring using the tennis balls on our pelvis for a long time. And so knowing what works for your body is going to be important for you, right? Now, again, you might want to move the tennis balls over to the sides a little bit. And you may notice that I start to take my knees over to the side a little bit more so that I can work the tennis ball into my glute. Those teeny muscles on <laughs> the back side. Okay. So gently side to side. Now if you're wanting to move them a little bit more, you're gonna take the tennis balls out and you're gonna bring them to the back body. All of a sudden I'm getting warm. Anybody else getting warm or is it just me? Maybe just me. Okay, lean your body into the tennis balls, only to a place that feels good. And of course you could do all of this without the tennis balls. Those of you new, if you're using tennis balls, you want to use used tennis balls. All right, so I think, I think that's good. How's that feel? Yeah, okay. So let's take those tennis balls out. We're going to make our way onto our hands and knees. So if you'd like a blanket under your knees, go ahead and place one on your mat. I know some of you might be on carpets at home. And you're going to have your hands slightly in front of your shoulders, index fingers pointing forward, knees about hip width apart. You can be on the tops of your feet or with your toes turned under. I want you to engage those lower abdominals. We're gonna inhale here at a tabletop, exhale down towards child's pose. You're gonna do that a few times with your breath, noticing all the wonderful sensations throughout your body. Now, next time we come up to tabletop, you're gonna pause and you're going to explore the possibility of heading the other direction. So inhale as your body comes forward, exhale as you make your way back towards child's pose, or some of you might prefer puppy pose where you keep your hips up and reach your head towards the ground. But you're only going to go forward as as, again, far as it feels good in your body. So for some of you, it might be a teeny tiny movement and others you might come into, you know, almost a complete cobra. Just moving with your breath. Now we're gonna do this one more time. And when you're in your child's pose or puppy pose, I want you to walk your hands over to one side. So you're getting a nice stretch through your side body. Still breathing. And when you're ready, you'll make your way through the center and over to the second side. The 
Again, after a few breaths, we're going to make our way through the middle. And we're going to try something a little bit different <laughs> to, to move with our head and, and our neck and our legs. So your inhale, you're going to take one leg up. So let's take the right leg up, extend it, press out with the foot, right? Keep it about level with your body. Then you're going to bend that knee. Now your inhale is going to be head towards your foot. Exhale is going to be knee towards the head. So you're going to move with your breath, just with that one leg. And it's a slow movement, right? We're not going for speed here. Long, smooth breaths. We just needing to close our door. Now next time you are lifting your head and leg, you're going to place that knee on the ground and bring your head back to neutral. And then we're going to work on the second side. So you're going to stretch out your left leg. And again, flex the foot, push. Feel those muscles engaging, right? Now when you're ready, you're going to bend at the knee. Flex the foot. Your inhale is going to be here as you reach the foot towards the head. Exhale, head towards the knee. And remember, we're not going for speed. We're connecting and moving with the flow of our breath. Two more. Again, when you are complete with those two, we're going to bring that knee down. And what I want you to do here is just sway your hips from side to side. So on the video, you might not be able to tell what I'm doing, but you're just bringing your hips side to side. And then very carefully, <laughs> we're going to step our left foot forward so that we're in a modified lunge on the knee at first. And you might have blocks under your hands. You're gonna keep breathing. We're gonna pause here for just a moment. And you want that back knee behind your hip so you're opening up the hip flexor. So if you're directly under, like if I bring that knee directly under my hip, I get no stretch at all, barely, right? All right, now we're gonna keep the right hand on the ground or on your block, left hand onto the thigh, gentle stretch, belly towards the inner thigh. You're still breathing and we're using that left hand to enhance our twist. You're gonna keep breathing. Now on an exhale, we're gonna bring the body back down towards the ground hand back down, you, and if you're using blocks, you're gonna bring them with you. We're gonna straighten out that left leg and flex the foot. For some of us, that's gonna be a big stretch. Now, don't sit your butt down onto your heel, because as soon as you do that, you lose the stretch of the hamstring. Now, some of you might keep your body upright. Some of you might start to work your head towards your knee. It's going to depend on your, your body. You're going to keep breathing, keep breathing. And then very carefully, when you're ready, we're going to walk the hands forward, bend that front knee. We're going to step your left foot back and bring the right foot forward. You're going to make your way into your modified lunge with the knee on the ground, front knee over the ankle, back knee behind the hip. Keep breathing, noticing all the things that you feel in your body and the movement of your breath. You're going to keep the left hand on the ground, right hand onto the thigh. Gently bring your belly towards that inner thigh. Using your right hand to enhance your twist. Going as deeply as it feels wonderfully delicious in your body. Where are these adjectives coming from? <laughs> now on an exhale, we're going to turn back towards the ground, 
hands on the floor of the blocks. You're going to walk your hands back as you start to straighten the right leg. Again, flexing that foot, not letting your hips drop down to your heel, and then possibly working your head towards your knee. And if you tend to hyperextend, continue to keep a slight bend in your straight leg so that you're not bending your leg in the wrong direction. Still breathing, exploring how things feel in your body. Now, when we're getting ready to come out of this pose, I want you to start to walk your front foot back and we're gonna be in a kneeling position. Okay. And we're going to, I'm going to put my back to the video. You're going to bring your heels and ankles towards one another and turn your toes under. I remember one of my first teachers used to strap her ankles together and do that. We're not going to do that. Okay, so ankles together, toes turned under. And we're going to inhale, arms up, and exhale as if you're going to sit on those heels, but you're not. Inhale up, exhale back. Are we okay? Two more times. Beautiful. Now, next time we come up, you're going to relax your arms. You can separate your knees a little bit if it feels better. I'm going to. And you're going to take your vision on your right hand. Inhale, you're going to bring that hand as far back as your eyes can still see the hand. Exhale back to center, and we're going to alternate sides. Your eyes follow, you're tracking your hand front to back with your breath. And it's possible that your arms move differently side to side. And it might be that one hand, you know, points up towards the sky, and the other hand moves behind you. You're just going to continue to move with your breath in a way that feels good throughout your body. One more time on each side. So whenever you finish with your second side, we're going to make our way to standing and find your tennis ball. We're going to use one for now. So carefully, when you're ready, make your way up to standing. You're going to find a tennis ball. We're going to roll one foot. And you're going to check in, right? Now we're standing up. We did some stretching with the upper and the lower body. How are those feet? haven't switched feet, now would be a great time to do so. It's always interesting, like, what, every time I do this, which is pretty much every day, like, how things feel just slightly different. All right, so when you feel complete with that second foot, we're going to put the tennis balls off to the side. And let's, let's, if you have a, a block, I want you to grab your block and put it between your thighs so that we're pressing in towards the center. So I want you to have your feet about hip width apart and then you're squeezing that block with your legs. Now we're going to take our arms up like cacti. Inhale is going to be here. Exhale, we're going to sit as if you're sitting into a chair and bring those elbows, forearms, and palms together. Inhale, open. Exhale, sit. And you're making sure that low back feels safe and comfortable and good as you're moving, that you're engaging those lower abdominals as you come into that mini chair position. And of course, that you're moving with your breath. Now, next time we come into our chair position with our elbows towards one another, you're going to pause there. You're going to keep breathing. And we're going to press those fingertips up towards the sky. So your body is staying 
in the seated position if possible and you're pressing your fingertips up towards the sky. Keep breathing. Now on an exhale, we're gonna release those hands onto the thighs. We're gonna slide down into a forward bend and then possibly holding onto your elbows and gently moving your body side to side. Relaxing the head and the shoulders. Still breathing. Now, once you come through the middle, we're going to release the arms, take your hands onto your legs. We're going to inhale halfway up and then exhale into our legs. We'll do that a few times. Inhale halfway up, exhale into your forward bend. Last time. And on that next inhale, we're going to slide all the way up. And before we Get rid of our block. What I want you to do, just for a couple breaths, I want you to take those inner thighs and like you're trying to shoot that block out behind you. So you're kind of gripping the block and pushing it to the back. And it might look like you're not doing much, but there's a lot of work happening there. If, if you're engaging your muscles right now, you're gonna switch it the other way. So you're gonna take your inner thighs and start to press that block. Forward. And so notice what happens in your butt, in your thighs, and even in your face as you're trying to move that block. And then we're going to take it out. It feels like there's so much space down there now. And we're going to take the block in front and hold it between our hands. So we're going to start this with our feet flat on the ground. And you're going to inhale up. Exhale, you're going to take the block behind you. Notice your elbows will want to go out, but you're going to keep them towards the head. Inhale up, exhale, block forward. Now, if it's safe and comfortable, you're going to inhale, block up, come up onto your toes. Stay on the toes as you take the block behind you. Inhale up. When you come down, then you bring your heels down. Inhale up onto the toes, block up overhead. Exhale, block behind the head, keeping the elbows in. Inhale, block up, exhale, arms and heels down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up, exhale, block back. Inhale up, heels and arms down. And last time. Nice. Now you can set down your block and we're gonna roll through the shoulders one at a time. And I realize like I do this a lot, <laughs> but I think it's just because it feels so good in my body. Now from here, we're going to take a wide stance. So about a leg's distance apart, we would be parallel. And we're going to inhale body up, exhale, you're gonna bend your knee and slide your hand down the outside of your thigh, right? Inhale up, second side. And you're keeping your body up right at first. Now we're going to deepen. So after you do your second side, we're going to pause for a minute. The next time we're going to take that forearm and you're going to slide more deeply into this pose. Inhale up, second side. And notice your body will come down more. If you're having a hard time, you might need to have your stance a little bit wider. So this will be our last time on the second side. And again, we're gonna pause for a moment. We're gonna add on. So if it feels comfortable, you're gonna slide that forearm down and take the other arm up in line with your ear. So your arm, body, and leg make a straight line possibly. Inhale up, exhale, slide down. Moving with your breath always in a way that works for your body. Last time on the second side. And again, we're gonna pause at the top. This will be the last thing that we do here. So we'll move to the five-pointed star. Inhale's gonna be here. Exhale, you take that right hand and slide it down your leg, vision towards that top hand. Inhale up, extend the arms. Exhale, second side, slide down. If it's comfortable, your head looks 
towards the lifted hand. And you slide down as far as it's comfortable. So it could be the hip, the knee, the ankle, or any place in between. We're going to do each side two more times. So much wonderful things. So many wonderful things happen in this pose. Now, when you're done, we're going to find a chair. So, if you're at home, you just want a firm chair. And we're going to place it on our mat so that all the legs chair are on the mat. I know you're like, oh, I get to sit down in, in yoga class. Okay, so um, yeah, and any, any chair that's firm, that's safe and stable is good. And if your feet don't reach the floor, you should definitely put blocks or something under your feet so that you're firmly established in your chair. Now, just like we did earlier, you're going to extend your left arm in front, vision towards the left hand. You're going to inhale up and you're following that hand and possibly you're going to reach towards that back corner of the chair. So bend your arm, <laughs> take your hand onto the back of the chair, keep your body long, and then possibly you're going to take that right hand to the outside of the left knee. And you're using the hands in the chair to help with your twist only if it feels good. So an option here would be to not have your hands on the chair at all, just have your hands on your leg. Now on an inhale, we're gonna lengthen the body, exhale, come back to center. And then you're gonna take your vision onto that right hand, follow it up. And of course, you get to a certain point, you have to bend <laughs> the elbow in order to get your hand on the corner of the chair, left hand to the outside of the right knee, body nice and long. And you might notice like using the chair in our twist, it changes, for me anyway, it changes the, my ability to deepen the twist. So I don't know if any of you are feeling that too as you're here. So again, on an inhale, we're going to lengthen the spine, exhale, come forward, and you're going to take your feet a little bit wide, maybe as wide as your mat or a little bit wider. You're going to inhale up. We're going to take the hands on the front of the knees. You're going to inhale up, and as you exhale, you're going to use your hands on your knees and bring your body forward towards the ground. Inhale up, and I'm actually using my hands to pull gently on my knees, mostly so that I can engage those muscles in my arm, arms as I'm working through this pose, right? Now, next time you come up, I'm thinking I'm gonna turn sideways so that you can all see what I'm doing. Now, we're towards the front of our chair. You're gonna inhale up, as if you're going to go right into a back bend. And so your butt is staying on the chair, right? I can feel my sit bones on the, like kind of touching the little bump at the edge of the chair and reaching my arms back. So inhale's going to be here. Exhale, you're going to come back to neutral. Inhale up. Exhale. And you don't want to overextend. Right? And you're paying attention to how it feels in your body, in your shoulders, armpits, your pecs. Now, next time your arms come down, this is where it's going to get really fun. You're going to safely come off of your chair, and you're going to bring your chair to your mat with the seat facing you. And if you have a block, you're going to grab the block, and we are going to... Come down onto our left side. So as you can see, I'm sitting on my left hip and I have this block right next to my side. I'm going to place my elbow on there. 
and hold on to the bottom leg of the chair in front. It's one of the front legs. Right? So we got this, so we're safe. Now you're going to take that right arm and reach up towards, again, the back of the chair. And some of you will come to the chair, some of you won't. And you're going to breathe. Everybody okay? Nobody's talking to me today, so I don't know. <laughs> Good. So we're going to breathe. Now, obviously, if it feels like too much, always, you're going to stop. So we might stay here a little bit longer than your body wants to. So you stop when you're ready. Now, next, exhale. We're going to bring that arm down. And your head may want to lift up, and that's awesome. Now we're going to do this dynamically. So you're going to inhale, reach that hand towards the back of the chair. Exhale, bring the arm down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And I like to move my head with the movement of the arm. And you explore and see if that feels good to you and if, that, and if you want to add in the movement of the head. Beautiful. Last time, and then you're going to carefully bring yourself up. How is that? Good? Interesting? <laughs> now you're going to take the chair. Well, actually, you're going to flip your body around. I'm going to flip the chair, so I'm still looking at all of you. So now my right hip is near the lip of the chair. I have my lock here. And again, I'm going to bring my elbow and forearm down onto the block, hold the front leg of the chair, and, you're gonna, and it might feel differently on this side, right? So again, you're going to reach that left arm towards the top of the chair, and again, it may, your hand may or may not come to the chair, and like my shoulder gently presses into the edge of the seat, and again, we're going to hold at first, or some of you I notice are moving, so if it feels better to move and not hold, then please listen to your body. Is the chest mainly facing out? As yes, the down? chest is open. Yeah, okay. Great question. Now, again, we're going to start to move with the breath, and you can add in the head if you want. Inhale is up. Exhale up towards the chair on the inhale, exhale, hand comes down towards the legs. And let's do two more. And if you find like this reaches a, a part of your body that, that you haven't been able to reach before, I encourage you to continue doing it. So after your next exhale, you're going to sit yourself up. Now we're going to take, and some of you, depending on what kind of chair you have, you might want to put a blanket on the edge. These are, these are metal chairs, and so they're a little bit cold when you have, you know, strapless and sleeveless shirts on. And some of you, depending on your height, like I'm, I'm fairly tall, um, but your butt's gonna be on the floor and we're gonna start by pressing the shoulder blades towards the lip of the chair and I'm holding on to the two front legs. Now from here, I'm going to start to bring my hands, one and maybe two towards the edge of the, 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 I'm going to need help with words, the, the edge of the seat, the back of the chair. All right, so, so you're going to see, like, like for some of you, just holding on to these legs, that might be enough of an opening in the front of your shoulders, right? And some of you might do one arm at a time, and you might not reach the chair, right? especially any of you who've had surgery, right? And so you might do one arm at a time and not reach the chair. And 
Now we're gonna do, we're gonna finish up. So if you have just been doing one side, you want to definitely give this second side some attention. And then you're going to carefully lift yourself up off of the chair. Inhale, body up, exhale over your legs. And again, you might want to do this in a moving, dynamic way. Inhale, body up, exhale towards the legs. Or you might just want to hold that forward bend. You're going to see what feels appropriate for you today. Now, next time you come up, I'm going to move the, and if you have your chair still on your mat, I'm going to move it out of the way. And we are safely going to get ourselves on our back body with our knees bent. All right, so, what's the safest way for you to get yourself down onto your body? Back body with your knees bent. And at first, what I want you to do, you're going to press your feet into the ground and just roll through your pelvis front to back. So we're not lifting the pelvis off the ground. Keep breathing. So we're going to do a, a multi-step <laughs> vinyasa connection of poses. So. I'll take you through slowly. So the inhale, you're going to press your feet into the ground, lift up your hips, and take your arms overhead. Exhale, arms down, hips down, knees towards your chest. Feet come off the floor. Inhale, legs up towards the sky, arms overhead. Exhale, knees in towards the chest, hands on the shins. Inhale, feet down, arms overhead, hips up. We're back at the beginning. Exhale, hips down, knees to the chest. Inhale, legs towards the sky, arms overhead. Exhale, knees into the chest. Inhale, feet down, hips up, arms overhead. Exhale, knees to the chest. Inhale, arms overhead, feet to the sky. And we're going to end here. Exhale, knees into the chest. Very nice. Now, we're going to take your left hand towards your flexed right foot and bring that leg across the body. And we're going to stretch your left leg away from you flexing that foot and keeping your heel off of the ground, like you're pressing that foot towards, towards whatever direction it's pointing in. Keep breathing. And you're holding on to this lower leg. So this is, this is kind of like a pigeon prep pose on our back, right? So you might recognize it as such. You're gonna keep breathing. Now we're gonna bend that left knee and bring your thigh to the back of the right ankle. And you're gonna keep both feet off the floor. We're not using our hands here, we're using our muscles. You're gonna keep breathing. And then very carefully, we're going to uncross our legs and reach the right hand towards the flexed left foot. Bring that lower leg across the body Stretch out the right leg and flex the foot, letting that heel hover over the ground. Continue to breathe. I don't know about all of you. This is feeling really good right now to me. Okay, now when you're ready, we're going to take a couple more breaths here. But when you're ready, we're going to bend that right knee and place the thigh to the outside of the left ankle. And again, you're using isometrics here. You're not using your hands. You're letting your legs and your core do the work here. Keep breathing.
Now, whenever you start to feel complete with this, some of you might want to stay a little bit longer. We're going to uncross the legs and point them up towards the sky with the feet flexed, with your hands on your legs. So this is going to be our inhale position. And the exhale, you're gonna slide your hands up the legs, lift up your head and shoulders. Unless that doesn't feel good in your head, neck and shoulders, then you'll, you can move your legs and not your body, right? So see what feels appropriate for you today. Inhale, body down, exhale, body up. Now, next time you inhale your body to the floor, we're going to bend those knees, take them into the chest. And here, a couple of different options. You could have the block between your knees. You could have your feet up in the air with the knees bent, or you could have your feet down on the ground. We're going to do a little twist here. And so I will model all three positions. So if you're doing any any of them right we're going to start with the legs in the center listen to the breath here we're going to inhale legs to the center exhale reach the knees over to the right inhale exhale bring the knees back to the center inhale exhale knees to the left inhale exhale knees to the center are you getting the breath inhale Exhale, knees to the right. Inhale, you're only moving on your exhale. Inhale, knees to the center. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale, exhale, knees back to the center. We're gonna do it a couple more times. Remember, you could have your feet on the ground. Next time you exhale, we're moving the knees over to the right. Inhale. Exhale, knees back to center. Inhale, and finally, last one. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale, and exhale, knees back to the center. And here we are. Let's bring safely bring your feet down to the floor. If you have the block there, you're going to get rid of that now. And I was thinking, since we all have chairs with us today, that you might want to use your chair for this next pose. And if you do so, you're going to pull your chair all the way onto your mat so that all four legs are there. And you're going to walk your hand, your, your, the chair close enough so that you can hold both front legs in your hands. And that way the chair doesn't get away from you. And I'll show you an option if you decide you don't want to use the chair. So what we're going to do, so right now I have my feet on the, the back of the chair on the sides, right? And what we're going to start to do is lift up the pelvis, right? Inhale up, exhale down. And you can explore where it feels good to have your feet. So this would be with my feet on the edge of the seat as opposed to on the back. And you're going to explore moving through your body, but you're being safe. You're holding on to the chair and it's best if you keep your head pointing towards the ceiling, although I know some of you will want to look towards me or the video. Now an option here would be to have your feet on the floor and just lift up your hips, right? We've had a pin on. Inhale, hips up, exhale, hips down. Again, the using the chair in this position gives us a little bit, well, it gives us a different possibility in how we're moving with our body, right? So we'll do that one or two more times. And then some of you may want to um, keep your lower legs 
on the chair for this next part, or you can have your legs on the floor. And we're going to keep your right leg on the chair. You're going to stretch the left leg up and then bring it towards your body. Right, so my hands are sliding down the back of my leg, the foot is flexed, and then you're going to point and flex your foot and roll through the ankle. And you're going to keep breathing. A couple of times in each direction for rolling the ankle, and then very gently we're going to release your first leg down to the chair or the floor and bring your second leg in. And again, we're sliding the hands up the back of the leg to a comfortable position. At first with the foot flex, the leg as straight as is comfortable for our body. And then pointing and flexing the foot. Possibly rolling through the ankle a couple of times in each direction. As you start to feel done, gently placing that foot back to the floor or the chair. And from here, this is where I'm going to say if you need anything else in your body, you're welcome to do that now. And then we're going to make our way into Shavasana. And some of you might like to um, do this position right here with the legs up on the chair. I call it instant Maui from one of my teachers early on, Jenny, and um, some people like to put a weight on their ankles, some people like to wrap a blanket, some people like a little lift under their hips. But I want you to find a way that you're comfortable. And what this position does, you might notice, it takes weight out of the low back. So for people who have low back pain, this is a wonderful position. So in your own time, you're getting yourself positioned for Shavasana, a final relaxation pose. You're going to make sure that you're warm and comfortable. This is a time for us to integrate and synthesize in our mind, body, spirit, and breath.
space and that your feet might be up in the chair <laughs> and making those gentle movements until eventually bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. I realize some of you might like to stay on the ground a little bit longer, and you're welcome to do so. So when you do get yourself seated upright, we're going to go back to the very beginning where we gently made some circles with our body. We'll go a few times in each direction. Noticing how your body feels as you're moving. Eventually, we'll come to a place where we pause in the middle and we're going to do some shimmy breathing. And so, I'll, like, I think most of you have done this before, but so two options. Um, one is you can take your tongue behind your teeth and breathe in through your mouth. So it's cool, right? Because your mouth is moist. And then out through the nose using ujjayi, right? The other option would be to roll your tongue. And not everyone genetically can roll their tongue. So you're gonna, if you roll your tongue, you're going to roll your tongue. And you, there's a slight tilt of the, the head going back and the chin lifting. And then as you exhale, the chin back down to neutral just slightly below and again exhaling through the nose with ujjayi or just through your nose okay and so and if you're not sure which is for you try them both it's meant to be a cooling breath right a calming cooling breath so breathing in through the mouth out through the nose Want to make sure that you still get enough breath and so a couple of different things are happening here it's cooling because we're breathing in through the mouth and it's moist and we're also making the entrance way smaller by placing the teeth the tongue behind the teeth or rolling the, the straw some people call this like breathing in through a straw you know straw breathing um, so you want to make sure that you're getting enough breath Let's do two more. This is a great summer breath. And it's a great breath if you tend to, you know, be anxious or angry or um, very calm. So when you're done, I just want you to pause for a moment and notice if you can feel any shifts after doing the breath for about 12 breaths. And then 
let's take the fingertips together, including the thumbs, pointing the fingers down towards the ground. And there's a gentle touching of the tips of the fingers. And I want you to bring your awareness to the fingertips and notice which sets of fingers attract your attention. And then I want you to focus on where those two fingers come together. You're noticing things like, what does the sensation feel like? Is it warm or cool? Is it like electricity or... What is it that attracted you there? Bringing your hands together, we're going to inhale as we reach up towards the sky and exhale the sound cue to the heart. Ooh. Inhaling the arms out to the sides of the palms open, exhaling ah to the heart. Ah. Scooping up from the ground, the sound of. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me today on our little chair excursion. <coughs> Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.